Bitcoin is right now crashing towards the downside, I will be explaining that exactly. I will also be talking about my new Bitcoin trade. Because yes guys, like I have explained in yesterday's video, I am about to open a new Bitcoin trade right over here, just like I did over here, and also just like I did over here. So right now is going to be the time to be paying attention, so can we once again push up the likes, back above the 100 likes, that will be absolutely amazing, and as always, let's have a look into what's that short term, and yes, Bitcoin is crashing towards the downside, we are seeing one of the biggest Bitcoin liquidation events ever since FTX. And why is this happening? Well, pretty much because Mt. Gox is right now repaying its customers. They are selling their Bitcoin, just like Germany, which is doing the exact same. So yes, we are getting a lot of selling pressure actually coming in. And I have been already talking about this fact yesterday, because yesterday it was already looking like Bitcoin was looking very weak. We were already breaking this level of support. And I was actually already talking about the fact how Bitcoin was looking so weak, so probably there's something going on behind the scenes. Probably Mt. Gox or uh, Germany were already selling their Bitcoin. I was talking about this fact and yes, just a few hours later, we actually got this news in that the German government was actually selling Bitcoin. And also right now, this morning, we got the news in that Mt. Gox is also selling their Bitcoin right now. So yes, this, what I've been saying yesterday, was absolutely right. And because of this, well, Bitcoin has been dumping a little bit more towards the downside. Of course, do keep in mind, this is some massive news that we did get. But I also told you in yesterday's video, probably at the moment where this announcement is going to be getting made, where Mt. Gox is actually going to be selling their Bitcoin, Probably that's going to be the moment where we are going to be finding ourselves close towards that bottom. So is right now that Bitcoin bottom going to be coming in? Well, we need to be talking about that exactly. Because yes, we have seen one of the largest liquidation events ever since the FTX collapse. And because of this chart, I do not think we should be really panicking that much. Because of this chart, I do think that we are going to be seeing some slow consolidation right now as well for Bitcoin. And then ultimately, yeah, after a week or two, actually then see our push towards the upside. Right now, I do not think we should be panicking in towards the trade. To be honest, I do not think we are going to be seeing this V-shaped recovery back towards the upside. I do think we are going to be seeing some slow consolidation over here until then ultimately pushing back towards the upside. And I'm going to be explaining that exactly as well in this video. But yeah, right now, I have actually already placed some orders. My trade is actually exactly a break even at this current moment. I am right now in a small trade over on Bybit with 13.5k. But just like I said, I do not think that right now is going to be the time to be rushing in towards the trade. I think we should be taking it a little bit slowly because of this chart we can be seeing over here. So I do think while right now is going to be a very good time to be accumulating Bitcoin right now, just like I'm doing over on Bybit, well, you should be taking it a little bit slowly. Right now is not going to be the time to be rushing in towards a trade. And that is also going to be the reason why my trade is still going to be relatively small, because I just want to be having a look into how this is going to be developing in the next few days. Anyways, yes, I think that this level is going to be massive for Bitcoin. What we can be seeing is that the sentiment is flipping fearful and we are creating a massive trap just like we have been doing over here. Right now, Bitcoin history looks to be exactly repeating, breaking above that previous low over there and then actually reaching that previous high over here and then actually bounce from off that level and then once again push up towards the upside while at the same time, the same exact thing is happening over here. The stock market is actually moving towards the upside while Bitcoin is moving towards the downside. Right now as well, Bitcoin is moving towards the downside while the stock market is literally making new autumn highs. So yeah, it is looking a lot like history is repeating right now. Now, of course, it is not looking exactly the same. Of course, this is in a way higher time frame than over here. But of course, we do know that history often doesn't repeat, but it certainly rhymes, all right? So yeah, honestly, we have been talking about this breakdown over here, this double top structure, how this was looking quite bad for Bitcoin. We have seen this break towards the downside. Now, the price target is actually sitting at the 48K level. I do not think we are going to be reaching that low. Now, if we would, honestly, 
I'm just going to be having a look in towards it as a gift. Because honestly, the lower Bitcoin would just go, well, the bigger the opportunity will just become. Now, I already do think that the Bitcoin bottom is going to be in over here. I do think we can be seeing a few more days of consolidation at around this low, at around this cluster of traded Bitcoin. Now, honestly, I am not going to be counting out this scenario at all, because at the same time, we are just getting another signal that might be confirming the same exact breakdown target. Target. But anyways, regardless, I'm just going to be buying this dip over here, just like I did over here and just like I did over here. In the next few days, I will be buying heavily. And guys, if you are going to be getting interested in trading yourself as well over on Bybit, which is the best exchange to do so, we'll definitely make sure to be checking out that link down below. Because over on Bybit, you can right now be claiming this US$40,000 deposit bonus. Now, this bonus is only going to be available if you do use that link down below. Otherwise, it is only going to be 400 US dollars. So definitely, right now is going to be the time to be accumulating. And if you do want to be doing so, well, the best place is over on Bybit, just like I'm currently doing. Now, if Bybit is not going to be available in your country, definitely make sure to check out these other two options down below. But anyways, yes, having a look into the next Bitcoin chart, Bitcoin has been falling down below the 21 weekly moving average. And historically speaking, every single time, whenever Bitcoin falls down below this level, well, it usually moves very quickly towards the 50 weekly moving average. Now, that 50 weekly moving average is currently sitting at the 51.1k level. So yeah, that level is going to be confluencing with some lower levels of support from of this cluster. So like I have said, I'm definitely not counting out that we might not be headed a little bit lower in the short term, but definitely we are getting our news in right now. I do think we are going to be coming close towards a bottom with our massive liquidation event. On that larger time frame, we are just creating a massive bull flag. And yes, if we are going to be headed lower right now in the short term, I'm just going to be buying even more. That is what I'm planning to do. Now, yes, once again, on that weekly time frame it is definitely not looking very good of course we are moving down below massive levels of support of course previous resistance over here right here flipped in towards support it is looking like a deviation right now so if we are going to be falling down below that is definitely not looking very good but also definitely at the same time the current level where bitcoin is currently trading at well if we are going to be having a look in towards the past we can actually be seeing right here massive levels of support right here as well massive levels of support and right here a level which has been very close for bitcoin has been a massive level of resistance so yeah sitting at around these key levels so definitely that is something worth paying attention in towards anyways i do not think right now is going to be the time to be bearish on bitcoin i definitely do think we are getting closer towards that bottom than not but anyways with that being said I'm just taking advantage of this opportunity right now as given to me. Anyways, if you do want to be staying up to date about every single market development, make sure to be following me over on Twitter. And guys, I'll see you in another update video tomorrow morning.